Dealing with rejection. That can be hard for a lot of people. I think that, you know, I've, I've learned over the years that rejection is like a required part of having success. I almost think it's like a test. If you actually want to be successful, you willing to deal with rejection along the way. And rejection is a funny thing. Like if you don't learn to accept it from other people, you're technically accepting it from yourself. Meaning in the insurance world, if I don't accept that I'm going to get rejected a lot on the phone or in the home or whatever, if I choose to not accept that that's part of the deal and quit, then I'm rejecting myself the opportunity to have success. I had a buddy, Mark, teach me that like part of this, part of this process in, in having success it's required that you grow this like thick skin, this armor that is just okay with rejection and understands that it doesn't actually ever go away. It's there forever in all aspects of life. You know, not everybody's going to accept you. Not everybody's going to accept this video I'm doing. Some people aren't going to like it. It's all good. You know, content I put out. Some love it, some some don't. And I'm okay with that. I had to really learn how to become okay with that. No, no, not only in insurance, but in life. That's allowed me to stick to doing the things that I know are right or important to me. And understanding that I mean well. And just because somebody rejects me in some form or fashion, it doesn't mean it's a reflection of me or my, my individual beliefs or me as a person or anything like that. Um, I've just, again, I've learned that it's part of, it's part of life. The willingness to go through it, especially once you do it a few times, like I've, I've, I've been rejected so many times at this stage that I've seen the outcome of that, how much of a payoff there is, because there's something to be said about like not giving a rip, not in a mean way. I care for people. We're not on the same page and you want to reject me in some form or fashion. Like I've learned to just not care because I'm not doing anything to harm anybody. It's a path. It's, it's a required path to go through to have any level of success. And we can do that in relationships or dating, or you want to go up to the girl and speak to her, but you, you won't because you're afraid to get rejected. It causes you to miss the opportunity to maybe be with someone who was a great fit for you. We've all been through scenarios where we're rejected and then we go through it and we ask for the date or we go up to someone and we see where that played out in a positive way. And in business is the same way. I've spoken to enough people that have had high levels of, of success and that's, that's a big commonality is people willing to go through that and not just not take it personal I think too many of us myself included early on take take rejection very personal versus just understanding part of life you know it's part of part of business it's part of getting better it's part of having success and you're not going to get away from that if you want any high level of success having success in anything is hard it's not always a, an easy journey it's not always necessarily fun in the moment but i can look back and go like Man, all those times getting told no or getting a door slammed in my face or getting hung up on or, you know, I've gotten thrown out of houses and just all kinds of things. But that's led who I am today and it's built me and shaped me. Any of you guys out there that are struggling with that, you just got to understand that it's a positive thing. It's not a negative that you're getting rejected. It's actually a positive because it's building you up, molding who your future self is going to be. It's like working out. When you start working out, it's really painful. And some people stop because it hurts. Like, yeah, but if you go through the hurt, eventually working out feels great. And it no longer is, you no longer sore and it all no longer hurts when you, when you leave the gym. It's like that test to see if you're willing to go through it and fight. You want something bad enough, you'll learn to deal with the rejection. And with time, it's like, you learn to kind of like crave it. Cause you know, when you're getting negatives that you're you're moving in the right direction of the positives. Like they always fall behind it. Relative to, to the insurance business, you know, I get a lot of agents that have called me certainly over the years and say like, I don't know, I had a lot of people hang up on me or I had a lot of people say no to me in the house this week or whatever. A lot of people no-showed me. I always go, what's a lot? Define a lot. And they'll give me an answer. You know, like a lot of people gave me this objection and I'll say, what's a lot? And they'll go five or I had three no-shows or I had, you know, four people cancel or eight, whatever the number is. And I can look back and you can see people all around. But I remember going, dude, I had 12 no-shows this week. You know, I had 50 people tell me no on the phone. There is actually a book, uh, Go For No. I don't remember who it's by, but it was a really good book. And the concept is instead of everybody going for the yeses, you literally go for the noes and you add those up because a certain number of no's always equals a certain number of yeses. You just gotta figure out what that number is for you. So again, I, I just tell my kids like, rejection is a positive thing. I, I just let them know when, when people don't align with them or turn them away or like Maddox is, if he has a friend that doesn't wanna play with him, like that's okay. Rejection is okay. It doesn't need to affect you and your self-worth. 
it's it's something on their end and you just need to move on and, and, and be okay with that and understand that again that it always leads to growth and positivity if you allow it to take its natural course and you ain't getting out of a rejection so you may as well accept it and the cool thing is once you get used to that's part of the process it's like you just kind of you're okay with it after a while and you you again you, you start to know where it's going to lead so if you're struggling with it just understand it's a normal part of the process and you're on the right path and don't give up you're actually closer to where you want to be um, by, by getting a lot of rejection so keep on with it nobody else